I'm Lieutenant Brandon Ricketts, Public Information Officer for the Mesquite Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred on the morning of February 19th, 2024. You are about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The Mesquite Police Department conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We are still at the very early stages of this investigation, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistently with our policies in the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution, the images and information you are about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. The identities of the involved officers are not being disclosed at this time due to the ongoing investigation. On February 19, 2024, at 8.49 a.m., an administrator with the Pioneer Technology and Arts Academy Charter School contacted the Mesquite Police Department and advised that there was a student in an office with a handgun refusing to put it down. Mesquite 911, Buchanan, what's the address of your emergency? 3200 Old I'm the assistant principal. No student just pulled a gun. I need someone here now. I am with him. He's fine. I'm calming him down. I need to get someone here now. Okay. I'm getting him started. Is, where is he right now? He's in my office in room 151 in the building. I'm putting the building on lockdown. Okay. Does I, he still have the gun? Yes, he does. Okay. What is he doing right now? He's just standing. He won't put the gun down. During the 911 call, administrators are heard telling the student to put the gun on the floor. I'm not going to leave you. Uh-uh, no. You don't know. Look, put, it put it down. No. Put it down. Put it down. Don't. Don't. Put it down. Put it down. No. Put it down. You trust me. Put it back on the floor. 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 Administrators initiated a lockdown of the campus. The first officer arrived on scene within two minutes of receiving the call. An additional officer arrived quickly and the two officers located the office and observed an administrator standing in the doorway of the office speaking with the student. The administrator advised officers that the student was sitting on a couch and had placed the handgun on the floor at his feet. No one else was in the room. Is he in here? He's in here. He Officers spoke calmly with the student for approximately four and a half minutes, attempting to de-escalate the situation and end the incident peacefully. What, what's going on today, buddy? Can you talk to us? We would like to help you. That's why we're here. Is anything upset, upset you today? Can you listen to me closely? Please do not reach for that gun, okay? We don't want anything to happen to you or anyone else. Can you do that for me? What, what has upset you today? Maybe we could talk about it. While speaking with the subject, he quickly reaches to the floor to retrieve the handgun. This action can be seen both on officer's body cam as well as CCTV from the school. At this time, one officer fired at the suspect. In trouble? Okay. We just need you to step away so we can... Hey, Todd! Shots fired! Shots fired! Hey! Do you need anything right now? No? We just need you to step away from the gun, buddy. You're not in trouble? Okay. We just need you to step away so we can... Hey, Todd! Shots fired! The office door began to close. An officer grabbed the door handle, pulling it open to maintain a visual inside the room. 
As the officer pulled the door open, the suspect can be seen on CCTV now standing and facing the officers with the handgun raised towards officers in a shooter's stance. At this time, three officers fired at the suspect. The office door again closed and officers continued negotiating through the closed door, advising the suspect to exit the room. The suspect stayed inside the room until complying with commands to exit where he was then taken into custody. The suspect had an injury to his leg sustained from the shooting. Mesquite Fire Department treated the suspect and transported him to a local area hospital. The police department coordinated with school administrators to enact the reunification plan. The campus was searched as the remaining students and faculty were escorted from the building by officers. The suspect was medically released later that evening and transported to Dallas County Juvenile Detention. No other injuries were reported. The suspect was charged with multiple counts of aggravated assault against a public servant as well as exhibition of a firearm. In total, three officers fired 19 times over the two threats encountered by the suspect. A Rossi 38 Special Revolver possessed by the suspect was recovered by investigators. Subsequent interviews with witnesses revealed that the armed suspect came to the school with intentions of harming others. The suspect was identified as a 16-year-old male student whose identity is being withheld due to his juvenile status. The officers involved were an 8-year veteran, a 5-year veteran, and an officer that recently transferred to the department with 5 years of service with another agency. The Mesquite Police will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. We will continue interviewing witnesses that may come forward and complete any forensic tests. After the investigation is complete, the investigation will be referred to the Dallas County District Attorney's Office for review. As a standard protocol and policy, the Dallas County District Attorney's Office sent investigators to the scene as well to conduct an independent investigation. The Internal Affairs Unit will also conduct an investigation and evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's actions and use of deadly force in this instance follow department policy and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.